Hello, Builder Blog. This is Zachary, Captain of Scorpios. But this week, I'm not going to host the episode. We're going to have Andy Sorrow and Will Prater take over, and we're going to talk about Dragon King. That's right. Diane and I bought this robot from the creator of Red Devil, Jerome Miles, and it's been sitting in our shop and going to trade shows. It's actually already paid for itself by going to different trade shows, but Will helped me get a job after the pandemic, and I really wanted to say thank you to him. So I let him be the captain of Dragon King for season seven of BattleBots. So I'm going to turn over to Will, and you guys are about to see how to train a dragon and turn on an eight-channeled monstrosity for the first time. They did this without me, because Diana and I were actually at Battle Bricks, winning a Lego Giant Nut. Alright, I'm Will Prater. I'm going to be the captain of Dragon King for Season 7 of BattleBots. Uh, this is us firing it up for the first time, just a few weeks before the event. So, uh, fingers crossed it all goes well. So, Will, how are we going to get inside this thing? A lot of twisting. Lots of twisting. <laughs> so, you want to show them on this one? This yeah. outside, this so, outside plate comes off. But you got to take off all of this and all of this and then these to get it off. Yep. So these plates, they retain a, uh, a bearing each. And so getting it back on is actually uh, a little more difficult than getting it off. Because you want to have them nice and aligned for the bearings to work it off. But what is cool about this robot that people may not know, it is built into three separate sections. So each drive pod has its own separate battery, receiver, speed controller, everything inside of it. And then we have the center pod, which controls the entire weapon system as Luke is displaying so eloquently. <laughs> you look like you're ready to sell this thing on QVC. That's right. <laughs> we are currently accepting yeah. offers. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, so we rotated the plate down because we took some battle damage on that bolt. So rather than removing it, I do not want to do an extractor. Well, when we get up close, show people what all goes into one of these pots. So this is one side. This has the speed controller, receiver. There's, there's your safety switch we were talking about. And the opposite side has the battery. And Batteries we'll on, on the other side of this, yeah. Inside of the pod. And Luke, it looks like you're strapping it in, right? Yeah. Got a brand new strap. Got to keep the safety up. Doesn't do any good if we die before we get to kill other people. You know? True that. <laughs> As always, safety first with these things. And now I am locking down the weapons so that we don't actually cut anything when we turn this guy on. Because uh, Dragon King has great potential for destruction. That's a much better sound. Beeps. We love the beeps. All right, we got working robot. Cool. That's good, but also we don't know what the problem was. So <laughs> it should reveal itself during a fight. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> of course. Not exactly the way you want it to go, but <laughs> hey, as long as it works and it gets in the box. Yep. All right, let's power it off. All right. So what are we trying to test right now? Uh, we want to see it um, articulate. Try and articulate? Yep. Which so is give really... It a try right now, you think? gently because it's going to flop the well that's a sound where's that sound coming from that is articulating the saw okay right saw it's articulating left saw these are independently articulated there's okay. saw motion saw okay. motion okay that's reversible on the saws now what's interesting to me about this i've got this Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn that. Uh, it's just up and down right here. Okay. And then actually left and right are going to rotate the saws. So. Okay. They're fully reversible. Wow. As you can see, we got the steel yeah. cable in there for safety to keep them locked in. Huh. What about oh, RTLT? Okay. No. So we got some uh, some buttons to figure out, it seems. Yeah. Is... Hey, you know what? I have a thought. What's that? Never mind, I'll keep it to myself. So what if there's another power source? Yeah, I was going to say, secondary power? Yeah. 
Like Here's another... the other idea that it could be. Yeah. Is it on that controller? <laughs> oh my god. Having that controller bound to two. I guess three receivers. Yeah, there's some drive action. Yeah. Are we at the... Yeah, oh and there's the bite. Got it. You know, that's probably good for me because um, the more that I can put onto your transmitter, the better we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to have the bite on a different transmitter to me though, right? Because then yeah. you have to coordinate an attack with clamping and sawing. Most people don't want to activate the weapon on the drive. They want the driver to purely position the robot. Right. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> it is pretty nice. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, we need to, we need a beer can. We need something. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Come in for the bite. Arr. And then you tear into them, Will. Boom. Feed me. <laughs> Hungry. I guess. Drive test. We got power on both. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> Jackbots. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. <laughs>